Hi there, my name is Paul Linders. My family's been associated with uh, Smithfield in Dublin for the past 75 years. And what I want to briefly talk to you about is um, helping Airbnb to establish a Dublin base in a particularly cool and historic part of the city with immense character. Um, that in which we can provide space for immediate occupation and room for you guys to grow into, but most importantly, uh, where we can also provide a cool working and living space. Smithfield, it's in the heart of the city centre. It's exactly one geographic mile from Temple Bar, O'Connell Bridge, or some of the places that people may know. It's on the River Liffey and linked um, by the Lewis Light Rail, uh, which takes you within seconds to anywhere else in the city. It's become the museum and legal district of the city. Um, most of the city's courts and the National Museum are located uh, immediately off Smithfield Square and you'll see in the middle there the Phoenix Park which is uh, the largest urban park in Europe uh, for those of us who like to, uh, to stay fit. Smithfield is pretty visually striking as you'll tell from this picture. It began its life as the uh, home of most of the distilleries of the Irish whiskey industry, uh, most famous of which would be the Jemison Distillery which remains there to this day and that chimney in the middle of the picture is, uh, was the Jemison Distillery chimney where the museum is still located. Why Smithfield? It's a landmark part of the old city. It's become very young, a hotbed of creative and cultural activity. The Dublin Institute of Technology, which on which there's another slide in a moment, is moving 24,000 kids there from various locations throughout the city, which is going to bring, obviously, a huge level of youth and dynamism to it and also hopefully provide some good talent. Um, and it's linked to the city centre. It's about a 10-minute walk or, again, the Lewis Dublin bikes or go-car sharing, which is the same as Zipcar. There's a Friday market. There's a huge arts collective uh, emerging down there with the complex theatre group Block T. And hopefully we can get to introduce you to. But in short, there's about 50,000 square feet there of art and design community space. It's uh, it's become very edgy, bohemian and cool. You'll see a picture there. Every Christmas it hosts um, an outdoor ice rink, which, depending on the weather, uh, can be great fun if a little bracing. Who works here? I've focused on the creative people nearby. Uh, Brownback Films were Oscar nominated. Element Pictures, also uh, very, very well renowned. Uh, you may have seen The Guard or The Wind That Shakes the Barley. The Complex Theatre Group, uh, Block T, would be two of the, the bigger driving forces in the arts community nearby. The Lighthouse Cinema, which is the coolest cinema in Dublin, and they host a lot of interesting events there too. And you can see by the coloured seats that's an actual picture. Um, IFCO, the film classification officer, and most renowned Jemison Whiskey Distillery, who sponsor their own film festival. Uh, there's good eating and drinking around, uh, namely the Dice Bar, which is a craft uh, local bar. You see pictures of it there on the left of the screen. It's particularly cool. The music is especially good. You'll see in the middle, um, the uh, that's when U2 got the freedom of the city. That's Edge, or his back, rather. Um, the Benavista Social Club, Manic Street Preachers, there's been some very cool concerts there over the years and, and you'll see with the gas brazers lit there, it's a, it's a particularly striking visual image. But more importantly for samples and lunchtime stuff, there's uh, Oscar's Cafe Bar, which is pictured at the bottom, third space, which is a very cool space. The Jemison uh, serves great food, Christophs, there's, there's many, many. The bars are probably what's uh, best around the area, the likes of the dice bars I mentioned, Frank Ryan's, which would be a really traditional Dublin pub. Uh, the cobblestone, which you can see at the top of the picture, and it's at the top of Smithfield Market, would be one of the main centres for proper Irish traditional music, um, and they would host different types of music evenings every evening, and it's, it's where the musicians that visit Dublin to play would go uh, to, to rest and relax. The DIT, or Dublin Institute of Technology, I mentioned before, but uh, it's probably worth going on to ggda.ie to have a look at their plans. They're underway at the moment. Uh, First Kids will be on the ground September 2014, and they aim to be finished by uh, 2017 or 18. How can we help Airbnb? In short, what we'd like to do is form a strategic partnership with you guys. We control a lot of the space in Smithfield uh, around there at the moment, both that in existence and we have planning permission for over 200,000 square feet more. But in existence at the moment, um, as we see it, we can provide space, uh, roughly 10,000 square feet, if we understood the brief properly, for immediate occupation in the old Jemison Distillers building, which is a building of great character. There's some photos to come afterwards. Um, and then parallel, uh, running alongside that, we can prepare 
what we've deemed uh, phase two there, which is two floor plates of 20,000 square feet in block B. I've uh, just tapped in some, some visuals there on the uh, right-hand side of the page, some designs that we've had done previously. But in reality, as you'll see from the pictures that are coming up on the slides following, it, uh, it's a pretty blank canvas and, and quite a cool and open space at the moment. In short, we can work with you guys as you grow. Okay, so if we can, uh, let us know when you're ready and we can hook up. I'd love to show you around. And when we showed George around the other day, we spoke about maybe introducing you to uh, the likes of Brown Bag Films or Block T Arts Collective, anybody local that can tell you a bit more about uh, what it's like around Smithfield and what we're up to. Talk to you soon, I hope. Contact me at paul at linders.ie or my cell phone is uh, 086-381-6858. Thanks a lot. Bye.